In this video, I want to discuss a quick win on how we can only rerun our previously failed tests. Now we see we can do this in UI mode, but as part of version 1.44 of Playwright, a new feature has been implemented that allows us to execute only the failed tests from our previous run. So if you are following along with this, make sure in your package JSON you've updated to version 1.44 or greater of Playwright, so you'll have the functionality. Now what I've got at the moment, I've got a test that should pass, and all this does, it goes to commit to quality, clicks add a product, adds a product, and then we confirm in that the new row has the name of the product, so in this case commit quality test. So if I just run this quickly using npx Playwright test, this should pass all as expected. Okay, nothing new there. But what I want to do now is I want to copy this test and I'm going to make it fail. So we're going to say, let's just rename this test to fail. And let's change this to contain, to contain text to fail. So now we are expecting this one to fail and this one to pass because this one we've added a product of commit quality test. And this one we've done the same, but we'd expect it to have the text of fail, which of course is not correct. So now... Let's rerun this test again and say MPX Playwright test. We'll see two things. The first one passes and the second one will fail. There we are. We can see in the report that that's exactly what I said as well. It's actually expecting commit to quality test, which we know is technically correct. And the other one, but we have failed there. Okay, all great there. But now, what if I said I had a load of tests and I only want to re I only want to run the ones that failed to make sure that they weren't flaky, or maybe I've made some fixes and I just want to run those instead of running the whole regression suite. Well, we can do that now. And it's pretty easy. What we can do is say npx playwright test, and now we can add an argument onto here and say last hyphen failed. And what this will do, it'll only execute the, the failed test from the previous run. So now if I hit this, what we should see is pass shouldn't be execute because that passed in our last run, but fail should, and it's gonna fail again because we haven't fixed it yet. But what you'll see is if I say last failed, it'll just run that single test for us. There we are, running one test using one worker where before it was it was running both tests and we could see that still fails. What I could even do is I could say, let's change this back to commit quality test. Run this and now we should see that only that test is run and now that fails should be a pass like it was. Really neat update from Playwright. Of course, this doesn't replace the retry option that we've discussed in previous videos. This is just an option that allows you to only rerun the failed test from your last run. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.